Hi everybody! I've got a 30 minute soul journey session that I'm doing for a client. So I'm going to be sharing energy work and wisdom. I'm going to go ahead and read the goals here and then get started. Okay. So it says, Hi Abby, I am experiencing a lot of pain in my left kidney. Can you please do what you can from the energy side of things? Okay. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and relax here. <sighs> okay, so let me see. How do I want to... So there's you, okay? And you is kind of like a black shadow. And now there's also you and you're kind of like a more of a mirage, okay, but you're kind of smoky or ghost-like looking. And this one, the black shadow version, is way more noticeable, way closer to me. This one is kind of hanging out over there, but it's still right here. I mean, I can see this too, but this is right in front of me, and this is just over here. Hmm... So you're, okay, hmm, how do I want to describe this? So you've projected two versions of yourself. You're projecting yourself. But these aren't actually you in alignment with who you are. So somehow, and I still have to, I still have to continue to look at this here, but Here's you over here as this black shadow, which is far more dense and tangible. And then here's you as this sort of uh, ghostly mirage. But there's you behind this wall of the two yous. Um, that's more you, more the true you, than these false yous. So the false you is actually in the forefront of who you are. So you're shielding your true self for some reason. This is the first thing they're showing me in relation to your kidney, okay? <laughs> and it's not easy because I'm trying to bring the two together, this dark and this mirage, okay? Trying to bring them together and then bring them back into you because you need to be whole. You need to be whole again, okay? But you have a lot of resistance to being yourself. So you you want to keep um, safety um, at giving people access to these other yous, which is safer for you, than to just be who you truly are. That's I can feel that that's really hard for you to hear that. And your heart, I can feel your heart is crying and breaking. Like, I can feel trickles of water or tears coming, trickling down from your heart. Your heart, I mean, your heart feels like it is carrying a lot of sorrow and sadness. <sighs> okay, this is, an, this is a movement, an energy movement going on here. And it's just sort of washing right over your head. Uh, you, you're kind of talking in your mind here. You're kind of like uh, something like, a, please don't, please don't, please don't, uh, please don't tell me this, please don't, I don't want to hear this. Or something kind of like you're, you're saying a sentence and it's like, please don't something, please don't, I don't, I don't want to hear this or please don't say this or something like this. And you're just like, please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't. It's kind of like this. Okay, now, this could get very interesting here. Because <laughs> you have another version of yourself coming forward, and this version is male, and much larger than these other yous, okay? So I would, if I could draw you a picture, 
let's just start with a circle, okay? So at the front, um, at the bottom, so where where there be north, east, south, and west, we got south, we have the black version of you. You're at the center point, the true you. And then over here at like um, uh, southeast is so, kind of like this ghostly you. Now this big guy is taking up, like he's a giant, okay? He's taking up like all of the west and... Um, you know, northwest and uh, like he's really taking up stuff. He's like really big and taking up this whole side over here. He's so loud and ridiculous and annoying. I mean, he is annoying. He's not helping you at all. He's just getting in your way. You're, uh, you've become quite small and there's a fragileness and you're, you're allowing yourself to be smaller than him and you're giving him a lot of ability to grow extraordinarily big, but he's not helping you at all. You just keep, you, you're not bringing the energy back into yourself and being yourself. You just, you're just allowing him to have all of this room to grow and he's majorly growing, but he's actually um, taking up a lot of space and he's doing nothing to help you. And you're small and fragile now. I mean, I can feel you in the center of all this. The true you is now becoming invisible, is becoming um, small. So now you have a fake you that's noticeable. Um, a ghost to you, that's also noticeable, a giant obtuse man that is insanely noticeable, and then the true you, which is just this tiny little person. The true you is the hardest one for to access. You're giving way too much power to him. He's not giving it back to you. He isn't. And you would blame, you would blame your conditions on yourself instead of seeing balance as a big part of what is inspiring this, okay? Life balance. So it's interesting because you're saying your left kidney, so your left kidney is feeling it but not your right kidney. So we don't have a balance here going on. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe only one kidney not feeling good, but both of them feeling not good might not be. <laughs> but there's a balance thing. We got one ouch and one I'm fine. So that's kind of, you know, it's there's something about life balance here. It is a major part of, of what this is. It's really just kind of a sensor that's saying ouch when it comes to life balance. But let's keep looking here. I don't know how, I don't really know how you're doing it <laughs> because um, I don't know how you're able to stay, maintain balance in life. Like with this type of balance, your life would be really um, hard. Life would be very hard. But you don't, you're telling me you don't want to take back that um, false you or the, the ghost. And you don't want to, you don't really care about the guy taking up all this room and not giving anything back to you. You're going to be at peace with this and you're going to send, sit in the center of all of this. And that is fine. You're fine with that. But who's actually you? Like, who's doing you? Who is in charge of you, you know? You're literally projecting yourself. So the you that people are experiencing is a projection of an idea that you want people to experience because you don't want to let anybody into the true you. And your heart is in suffering as well. It's all really fake. Saw a lot of fake stuff here. 
it's so stressful. Why are you stressing your kidney, your left kidney out by doing this? It will be easier for you to be you than to keep this up because if you keep this up, this is going to have consequences later on down the road and they're going to be very hard consequences. Just telling you. Because I can tell, I mean, I can feel this out here and I can feel in time what this is going to create is going to be very hard learning. Your kidneys are really awesome, actually. And this one is, um, this is going to sound weird, but it's like a lover of you. Um, it's like your left kidney is like in love with you. And um, it's a male as well. And he's small and nobody knows notices him. Um, but he just is trying somehow to uh, make a sound so that you could hear it. And maybe you could get help. Maybe you could get help um, because he loves you that much. And he found it in, within himself to speak up for you. You're, this, this energy work is giving you a ma ma major headache, just so you know. I can, you're, you've, this conversation, I'm talking, I'm creating um, self-realization here. So... And creating self-realization deep down inside of you and your subconscious and your conscious and all the different times that you exist in in places interdimensionally like you're having like a huge kind of um wake up call and it's hurting your brain it's her actually hurting your brain like you feel like you i have a headache right now i actually do because i can feel how um this is hurting your brain. But you will not change. You will not. I mean, you will not change. And you're putting your foot down. You will not change. And I say, but this kidney loves you. Isn't he worth it? He loves you. He's not obtuse. He's not taking up all your space. He's not trying to be... Um, big for you to notice him and see you know how big he's gotten you know he's just your kidney he's just loves you can't he matter too can't his opinion matter too it's interesting because it's like the left kidney is um, my spirit guides are showing me the left kidney is acting like a male who loves you and now the right kidney is female and she's completely like hidden inside of herself. <sighs> she's quiet. She's withdrawn. She's not. Um, it's interesting because there's very little activity that she's expressing in her personality. Okay. <sighs> this is shifting the headache feeling here. And uh, she has a hard time speaking up for herself. And um, she wants the, the man then to speak up for the both of them. And she wants the man to take care of her. But it is purely loving. I mean, there's a, a nurture that she wants to provide the man the man then who takes care of her, she will then nurture. And she's very feminine, very nurturing, very a lover, a real, she too is a lover, but her lover energy is subdued and forgotten about. So she's kind of um, the ghost. <laughs> Lead apparition is kind of her nature right now. Like she's, she nobody see, nobody knows about her. This is where we're going in a little bit more deeply and feeling more of the kidney energy here. And there is way whacked out balance going on. There's major confusion, uh, like on the energy side of things, I, I hear major confusion when it comes to 
communicating the kidneys communicating with the body the body communicating with the kidneys there's major like uh, miscommunications going on you you could very well um okay what is how do i want to say this you need to be kind to yourself not by you need to love yourself so one way i i help people understand how to love themselves is let's say you've met the ultimate companion okay and now that ultimate companion how would you want them to treat you how would you want them to speak to you how would you want them um to joke with you or hold you or um, what are the types of things that you would like to experience with the ultimate companion now you need to be that for yourself the ultimate companion you need to communicate with yourself the way you would want your lover to communicate with you you need to listen to yourself the way you would want your lover to listen to you you need to talk to yourself and you need to be a good listener and you need to provide really loving advice to yourself because the love isn't um the interaction of love here is not it's a lot of mind-based love okay it's not heart-based love and that's why you're you've created this circumstance because you're working too much in the mind And you're going to always do what you think, what you think is best for you. What you think is best for you. But are you going to actually do what is best for you? Without thinking, just, just feel. Just literally, you can be, play pretend and just, just why not? You could lay in bed, all right? Close your eyes. And pretend that the ultimate lover is is sees you in bed and says, Hey, oh, I missed you. I'm so happy to see you. And then comes and holds you. And are you going to resist that uh, affection? Are you going to cry because you long for that affection? Um, are you going to just start sharing uh, about your feelings? what what is your response to that you literally close your eyes and have an experience visualize it feel it be a part of it experience it all around you and now allow that to take place okay you're gonna it's gonna help you get to know your own needs it's gonna help you get to know your body help you feel balanced with love okay so I'm going to say that in this in this uh, level of your energy field where I'm closer to the physical kidneys there's some there is some weird energy um going on here okay it's not harmonious it's um it's confused communication which is creating chaos okay it is it's confused communication and the confused communication is creating chaos and it's sending signals to other parts of your body that are actually lower. So, um, you know, it could be sexual body region. Um, it feels more like sexual body region. Um, it's sending signals down um, because it, it, it very it, that makes sense to me because we're talking about self-love here as well. And sexual body is all about self-love. It's all about self-love. We're looking at partnerships, um, the, the male kidney and the female kidney and their relationship with each other. Their relationships with themselves. Their relationships with you. <laughs> your relationship with yourself and another version of uh, of dimensional identity. You know, like this is the me that I'm projecting to the world, and this is you know. But you also have a whole world going on inside yourself too, and it's also all about you. <laughs> so interesting. You um, are kind of, um, you want a solution and you want an easy solution. You just want to, you want an easy fix to things. Um, well, if I just do this, then that will fix it. 
um, I should just do that and then that will fix it. But this actually is, some, is going to require you to make decisions that come from your true self. Because you create fabricated versions of you that you think are you or you're pretending are you. But they're, they're actually not you. All right, I'm going to go ahead and relax this. I mean, it's like um I I I can I can hear when the these kidneys are not they're not communicating in balance with each other. Things are not flowing right here. And and if I was a, if I knew more about the body, um, maybe I could point out some different places, but all I can say is there's kidneys and then there's, it's sending information downward that's also very confusing and it feels interconnected with your sexual body, okay? This is stressing you out. <laughs> yeah, the headache is really starting to get back, um, really starting to get loud and your throat is starting to get kind of choked up a bit. You're, you're stressed and you're pissed. You're mad. <sighs> you're really mad too. The reason why you're mad is because we're breaking through your facade, okay? We're actually breaking through your safety um, fence. And your safety fence is going to tell you, well, I'm doing, I, um, this is the real me. What, what are you talking about? But as I go through your safety fence, it's going to piss you off. It's going to make you mad because you're going to insist that you are being you. But when I get through this thing, you're going to, you're going to crumple and collapse and say, hold me. I, w I wasn't being me. I've been hard on myself. I haven't been listening to myself. I've just been doing or I've just been acting or just, you know, the, something of this nature, okay? He's, it's like he's always going to be there and he's on max volume. So you even have a hard time finding yourself because of how much volume and energy he is... Um, like exposing to you, okay? See me, see me, see me, see me. Um, I'm huge. I see, see me, see me. And it's not as if he's trying to get your attention. You're just giving him a lot of room, like insane quantities of room, and he's growing massive, but you're getting smaller. Which means you're you're not growing. And you're coming up with a solution to maintain what you've created because you want an easy fix, but this is you having to work on yourself. And it has to do with self-love, okay? And it's a hard one. I mean, self-love is a, life, a lifelong learning right there. <sighs> All right, you're still very angry, but I'm getting through that wall, okay? You're really choked up in your throat, a headache going on, and your eyes are very angry. And you don't want to hear it. You just don't want to hear it. I mean, you literally do not want to hear it. You will shut your ears down in order to not hear it. La, 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 la. And you will insist that your, your life is fine. And here's your kidneys talking to you. And it's, there is something out of balance there, okay? So I'm going to just touch these kidneys. And now the energy work I'm sharing here is going to make a huge difference. But if you keep doing the same thing, then it's not a quick fix. Because you have to make some changes with yourself, okay? Okay, so I'm holding them like babies. One male and one female, and they're crying. And they want to be loved and nurtured, but nobody will hold them. And I feel like I'm dying inside, and I'm starting to connect now with your sexual body. So your kidneys are like ovaries, okay? There's a lot of anger in here, and it's ripping you apart. There, this has actually... Um, your energy field is creating a lot of pain in my hands here because you're you're carrying a lot of pain yourself inside yourself and you're also hurting yourself um and this is still creating i mean it's like 
it's just I don't know how to, it's like it's like scribbling and then scribbling over that and then, but it's going all over the place like a psychotic pinball machine with lots of balls going all over the place like and then ugh, nobody can work together in here they forgot they, they're forgetting here what love is they're forgetting and you're basically having you're training your body so that you tell your body what you want it to be but that's never going to work you have to allow you have to let the body be the wise one and you have to step out of the way of that your body is wise your mind is not wise <laughs> I, I my mind is not wise like it's the heart that is in the wisdom okay the heart possesses the wisdom the mind will jack that wisdom up you're afraid of love you're afraid of feelings feelings it's a lot of pain here I mean the the these kidneys and these ovaries here are paired like there there's a parallel going on here okay hold on I'm, I'm just gonna slow things down some it's a huge shift going on here you're you're exhausted you I mean I'm still talking about bringing these two versions of you back into yourself just being yourself you you've had to do this so many times is kind of what it's like you don't you just you're not going to do it anymore so you're just going to live your life this way you not you aren't going to keep doing it because your life what you're showing me here is that um, your life has a certain flow about it so sometimes you get into um, a balance an actual loving balance but um, somehow you get you fall off the boat um, and then the loving balance gets confused with the mind and you think that you are loving yourself but you're really getting wound up with a lot of stress and sensitivity and anger um, which is much louder than you're able to stay stable with the love the loving side of yourself you really I mean there's a bit of electricity involved with this and self electrocution that's what it feels like as well and you're exhausted from having to try to keep doing this um, you just want to do you just want it to stay in this balance and you're fine with that but you can you absolutely can do that you don't have to change at all but this is going to create real problems in telling you this will become a physical real physical problem um, later on down the road I, I can feel that you're manifesting that as long as you stay the same and you don't make any changes you're going to have physical problems body issues and it's all related to you loving yourself and expecting love in return and it's true love not mind false love it's true love it's nurture I'm telling your kidneys and your ovaries, I'm saying <sighs> I'm saying you're doing an amazing job and I'm going to work on taking your brain energy out of your kidneys, putting it back into your head, your brain energy out of your ovaries because you're distorting the natural process here your kidneys just know how to work you have no idea how to make your kidneys work better because they already work great you, what you need to work on is has to do with emotional um, and mental um, and love based balance because when when you get into that type of expression you release so much stress and chaotic noise and self-electrocution noises and harmony starts to develop here 
angelic energy, harmony, and it becomes beautiful. Man, my stomach is starting to hurt right now. I mean, it's like a like a heartburn almost, but it doesn't. It's like in my stomach, like it's a burning sensation, and this is creating a jarring um, sensation in my throat. My ears are bothering. My head is pissed off. You're mad at me. Don't do. Don't make me do this again. Don't do this to me. <laughs> I say, but you actually want to experience this. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to accomplish this great feat of merging all of you back to yourself so you can be you. So you bl your deeper self is blaming me when it's the one thing it wants the most is to be itself. It wants to live in a world where it can just be itself. It wants to live in a world where love is real, the way that you always wanted love to be kind of thing. And then in a, lo a place of love like this, then you can love yourself too. But you got to love yourself first and then loving yourself in in inspires that love loving reality to develop around you. I'm slowly getting you merged back with your other selves, but um, there, there is some serious um, other issues going on here. This man has a very, it's like, um, it's insanely thick black um, energy attachment, okay? From you to him. You're so super at peace with this. But it's, it's an unbreakable band. It's an unbreakable bond. It's a... Um, it's like a rubber band made out of tires, but it's like merge a thousand tires together and try to create a rubber band. It's like ridiculous. It's a ridiculous bond. <laughs> and um, you're, you find this to be a beautiful bond. But this is not, um, there's, the lo love isn't creating this. It's a fabricated bond. So I actually see him now becoming the real him. And he's becoming now at your level so you can see each other eye to eye. He doesn't want a false fabricated bond. He wants a real bond. But you aren't allowing that to happen either. But you are angry too. And now you're pushing that, that away. And you are carrying like boiling water in your emotions and in your mind. And it doesn't ever cool. And he wonders if he should go back to being really tall and just keep working with the fabricated bond. And you're just like, what? I'm so confused right now. I say, you got to ask yourself, what am I holding on to that has something to do with anger, bitterness, bad memories, um, anger about the world, anger about people in the world, anger about any, anything in your actual life and the bigger picture world. Well, you have to actually get, get a notebook and a pen, pen or paper, pen and paper, right? <laughs> okay. Now... Right? Um, what am I bitter about right now in my life? And I want you to write 10 things because I guarantee you're going to come up with 10 things that you're bitter about. You've got a lot of bitter bitter stuff that you, you need to decide if it's worth it um, to be bitter about that thing. Um, or if the bitterness is actually asking you to move on from that thing. Um, to be you know, friendship or relationship or a um, job or, I mean, you got to, you, you look at the list of bitterness, okay? And then um, you decide, why am I bitter about this? Is it worth it to be bitter about this? Is it helping me become a better person? Is it helping my situation? Now, if you say I'm not going to be bitter about this thing anymore, 
next week, you don't get to be bitter about that thing anymore. And whatever happens to inspire the bitterness to come back, which feels justified once more, I knew it. I knew that was going to happen. And that's why I've been bitter. That is why I've been bitter for so long. So either A, you don't ever go back to being bitter. Or I this has been an ongoing thing for so long and I don't want to be bitter anymore and I don't know how to stop being bitter. The only way I can stop being bitter is actually to move on from this thing. And now when you separate from this thing, you are giving your a gift to yourself for your kidneys, your ovaries, your whole physical body, and you and you're loving yourself. Now you don't need the the facades, the fake fake versions of you. You got to look at this list here. You have to, you need to do this, okay? It's going to help you understand some of the details and the things that I'm picking up on because you might even be hiding it from yourself because you really want to just just let life be like this because it's too much stress to have to change things or to be more myself. It's just too much stress. But it it it, it doesn't get to be that way. Because you being yourself is the most important thing and it's going to help everything become less stressful. It's just getting to that point. Now, do the list, 10 things, and see what things that you're not going to be bitter about ever again. Some of these things you don't get to be bitter about anymore. And if an event happens where you say, I'm not going to be bitter about this anymore, event happens, either A, you work through the bitterness that comes to the surface, or B, you acknowledge you can't work through it and your health depends on you getting out of that experience so that you can rebalance yourself, get to a point where you're strong enough to maybe come back to it. That's, that's what I'm seeing here. But I will say your energy field feels a lot cleaner, a lot healthier. Um, your mind is processing way better, especially the back of your head. You, you're, the head. I mean, your head's been having to deal with a lot, so there's still a bit of a headache going on here, but that's processing through. A lot of the energy is actually going downward, okay? Past your feet into the earth. And there's, there's a quiet, a silence here where your kidneys and your ovaries are. I mean, there's a definite connection here. So it's quieter, it's more relaxed, it's not the crazy pinball machine with too many balls going at the same time. And you're kind of coming into yourself and you feel like you need space to understand who you are. To get to know who you are. And to actually take a look at what you are bitter about. I mean, you really, it, it actually feels like this is a premonition here, I'm like picking up on something that um, you'll take maybe a week of time to just actually get to know yourself. And it's going to be insanely healing and everything I told you about manifesting physical issues isn't going to exist for you because you're healing all this stuff and getting it set back to normal again. But if you get wound up tight like you were, you're going to activate that and now you're going to create that in your future because that was pretty severe what you had created was pretty severe okay yeah you feel incredibly better but i mean you have yeah like i can feel a lot of stuff going on but it's a huge 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 improvement okay that's all i can share Thank you for this really, really incredible experience. Thank you for allowing me to work with your soul and share my perspective on things um, to help you get to a new new place in life. And uh, thank you too for sharing on YouTube. All right. So if any of you out there watching are interested in exploring a one-on-one -on -one session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Thank you all for watching, and I wish you all a wonderful day.